Hello everyone and welcome aboard the home of the Hype Train and its dedicated football team, Hype Train FC. Welcome back for more grassroots football coverage of the Reading Sunday Social League as we enter match day 4 against New England at Linear Park down in Reading on Sunday the 9th of May 2021 which is a stone's throw away from the team's home pitch at Calcott Recreation Ground. This commentator and some of the team's squad used to play for New England in the Reading and District Sunday League so there are a few of the team buzzing to play against Dan Newbury's side. Heading into this encounter this was 5th that's 8th in the league with New England and losing all three of their opening RSSL matches. To date, whilst we had picked up a single victory against Southbank, ahead of ties against the bottom three sides in the league. Kitted out in our navy blue home kit, we lined up with Jake Holloway in goal with a back four that consisted of Robert Austin, Vincent van Nenbergen, Federico Martorell and Rod Stevens. In midfield, Callum Fox Spence, who was absent from the squad photo, Stefan Sakura and Sam Bowell were in the central part of midfield, whilst ever presence John Watkins and Phil Newport were out wide in support of Martin King in a lone forward position. We only had two substitutes for the game against New England, with Willie Zaki and Callum Pard Jones starting the game on the bench. As ever, ahead of kickoff in the RSSL, we want to give shout out to some of our great sponsors and the companies and people involved in grassroots football that help make this tournament be possible. You can find out more about the RSSL sponsors, web design agency Lens Digital in the description below, alongside the team at Football in Berkshire, Awards FC and ourselves at the Hype Train. We start the day with some nice interplay that starts from back to front with Jake Holloway combining with Freddie Martorell down the left hand side. It's into my feet down the left and there's a little turn away from a defender before the ball's hit down the line. Martin King heads on to Phil Newport excellently and it gives Phil a chance to run into the box. The ball goes in and it goes all the way across the box but it's scurried away by New England. In what was a 50-50 first half, New England had an opportunity within 10 minutes with the ball going down their left hand side. Played through a central channel, were able to clear our lines the first time but were unable to clear our lines as the ball falls out to one of their forwards who takes a speculative shot which is wide. From the left hand side again we're able to clear our lines from a throw in with Phil Newport heading out to Martin King who's doing some good hold at play before he's robbed of the ball but we win it back quickly with Sam Barwell feeding Stefan Sakura down the left hand side. Stefan has a few opportunities to look up and he's got Phil Newport down the line who eventually runs it down the line and cuts back into Stefan. The New England defence aren't able to clear their lines and Stefan's able to get through. He gets a shot off and the goalkeeper makes a great save with the rebound coming across the line and New England able to clear. The danger's not over though as Rod Stevens does a press on their left winger Morgan with a cross coming into the penalty area and their defence do a very good job on this occasion to clear the ball. He probably won't like this but I'm going to include it into the video anyway. From the left hand side Stefan takes a throw in and the ball's eventually circulated across to Callum Fox Spence who's able to beat his man and he takes a speculative shot from range and it hits the Sainsbury's about five miles away. In what was a torrid first half for Martin Holloway, the brother of Aaron and Clayton who played for us last season, it's um, an opportunity for Phil to run down the line again as he's beat his man. For about the fourth or fifth time he clears out Phil and on this occasion he gets a yellow card. Just before half time with the game still goalless we're looking for an opportunity here with a Stefan Sakura corner kick. He eventually whips the ball into the penalty area and it goes through to the back post. Martin King heads it on, the goalkeeper takes one hand and we argue that the ball goes over the line. Martin is insisting that we should be 1-0 up. After a frustrating first half it was an opportunity for the team to get reset and we took advantage of the pause in play immediately when the ball is worked down our left hand side with New England's right back trying to clear the ball. Stefan Sakura picks up the ball and he drives into the penalty area here and as you can see here he's bundled down in the penalty area with the team winning a spot kick. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. With his friends on the sideline applauding Bowo to step up to take the penalty, the number 8 steps up against the New England goalkeeper, with Bowo looking to score for the first time in the competition. The penalty kick was strong, hard and down the middle, with the team having a 1-0 lead early on in the second half. With the deadlock now broken, New England have an opportunity to get back into the game and it's from a dangerous set piece and first of all we're going to show you the foul. The ball goes into their player who's shoulder barged by myself Robert with the free kick awarded to the home team. From the resulting set piece one of their defenders takes a left footed dink and it hits the bar on the way out. It's a close effort for the hosts. 
55 minutes into the game and we're able to extend our lead and it all starts when Stefan does really well to evade his um, opposing midfielder when the ball's played from a throw-in. He ends up playing a 1-2 with Phil Newport and the defenders can't handle him and a cheeky little right-footed shot beats the New England defenders to give us a second goal in the game. The boys in blue were finally in command of the game as we look to further extend our lead to put a bit of misery on and a set piece here is cleared out by New England. It falls out to Callum Pyre Jones and just look at this sublime little ball that he plays into Phil Newport who runs into an area, beats his man, puts the ball in the net and gives us a 3-0 lead. Callum Pye Jones again was involved in the heart of the play and he plays in a delightful through ball for Phil Newport to chase on. Phil's one on one and takes a shot which is saved by the goalkeeper. The ball's then gone across the box and Walid Zaki is able to score his first goal for the club. An amazing moment for our big Egyptian. Boys, this is incredible. Incredible. In the heart of the action in the second half, Callum Pye Jones certainly had his stamp on the game. And from a set piece here, he's able to test the New England goalkeeper. As you're about to see here, the ball's whipped in and it goes near post, but the keeper's able to keep hold of the ball. From the very next play, the New England goalkeeper's done a half-hearted clearance down the line, leaving their winger for dead. The ball by Sam Bowell is put back into an area, with New England looking to pause their line. Aiden, their right back, isn't able to clear his lines as Phil Newport stabs in at goal. He wins the ball, and he's bundled over, with the team winning a second penalty. Phil just stopped and picked up the ball, knowing he was going to win the challenge. After a lot of opposition from the host about the penalty award, Sam Bowell steps up. He's able to take his time and he cruelly slots into the bottom right corner. But as you're about to see here, the referee for the game blows because there was some encroachment from some of our players, which meant that Bowell had to retake the penalty. So with three drinks on the manager at hand, if we got the fifth goal, Sam Bowo calmly steps up to take his third penalty of the day, looking to give us that fifth goal. With the number eight slowly stepping up, he takes his time as he finally hits the ball and it's a mirror image of his first penalty with the team 5-0 ahead and Sam Bowo managing a double. With the game away from the hosts and a comfortable away win on the tracks down at Linear Park, we were able to have one last opportunity to extend our lead further and it again starts from the left hand side. Callum in to Rob, uh, feeds Walid and Walid hits over the bar and it's an agonising miss for the Egyptian. After a goal as first half, the game opened up massively in the second 45 minutes with the boys in blue running away with a 5-0 victory thanks to a brace of penalties from Sam Bowell, as well as strikes from Phil Newport, Stefan Sakara, and Walid Zaki. Elsewhere in the RSSL during match day 4, the top 5 became separated by only 3 points due to Woodley Saints dropping points for the first time of the campaign as they drew 1-0 with Rose and Fizzle at the Bucks County Sports Club. Caversham United moved up to 2nd place thanks to a 3-0 victory over Tyler's Titans, while Southbank got past Thames Valley Railway in a 4-2 victory at the Atrium Health Club to move up to 3rd place on 9 points. Our victory over New England kept us in 5th with room to move up the table in the coming weeks. Next up for the team we take on Tyler's Titans in the RSSL on Sunday the 16th of May 2021 with the team now looking to push on to secure a top 2 spot and a place in the grand final in June. Until next time, believe the hype.